I don't take a big stride because it, it's impossible to get your weight back through the through the ball and over your front leg if you take a big stride. So, so for me, it's about being nice and balanced, get there, and, and whether it's wherever it's pitched around that area, I'm backing myself that I can hit through it, but all my weight's coming back there. As soon as you get a too big a stride, you can't you can't get your weight back through. So you're relying on the power of your hands and your and your upper body, but it's not a real lot there to be honest. It, most of your power comes from comes from down below. So I think that it's about just seeing the line so you can get right back through the ball. No, I've, I can't remember facing an off spinner who's bowled over the wicket to me in a long time in shorter forms of the game. Um, so that, well, I think it just opens up both sides of the ground so much more. If they if they're bowling at the stumps, just with the angle there, you've, you can still you can still go inside out, you can still go leg side, so you can still sweep, and most likely be outside the line. So I think that that an off spinner to me, they've always bowled around the wicket for some reason, and I think that. For one, because I am quite powerful in, in that area, they're looking to bowl in here straighter where I, I'm not very good to be honest. So I rely on a sweep or trying to clear my front leg and, and still go that way. So, that, so they're always bowling around the wicket. Um, left arm spin, I'm looking to give my stumps away pretty much. Again, because I'm, I'm trying to hit in that area, I find that a, a lot easier shot than than sweeping across the line to a slog sweep or a normal sweep to a left arm spin, who's all they're trying to do is bowl it into middle stump, skid it in. They're not trying to turn. The wickets don't turn in T20 cricket. So, so I think that, that for me, I'm backing my, the skill of my hands to play that shot 90% of the time as opposed to going across the line one in a hundred for me sometimes. So this guy is about to bowl, he's bowling leg spin. So I'm, I'm backing that, that that's, that's going to be the easiest shot for me to play through the offside. I don't like to play against the spin just because I think it's high, higher risk. Some guys are very good at it. I'm just, I'm just not very good at it. So I, I prefer to hit with the spin. So that makes over cover um, through the offside a, a safer shot. Probably down the ground, long on for a single is probably the only place that I'm looking to hit onside against him. Yeah, well, I don't use my feet down the wicket. Um, I try it in the nets all the time, but I just I can't bring myself to leave my crease. I think I've done it. I've been stumped once in international cricket. That made me feel like an idiot because I don't do it, and I, and I panicked, and I didn't know what I was doing. Um, and I come down and didn't really try and play any shot, and Sangakara had the bails off pretty quick. So for me, it's about... The exact same principles apply with all shots. As long as you've got a solid base and your head's in a good position, I'm backing myself to, if I give away my stumps slightly, if they come in fast at me, I can still hit it. I can still get off strike. I can still get a one, maybe two. But if, they, if they're short, most times there's two guys here. Maybe, maybe not always because I don't play a reverse sweep really, so they can have one guy there. So if, if I can beat that guy, I can at least get two, sometimes four. Um, over cover, that, that, that's my one, that's my real go-to shot if I'm under a bit of pressure or if I just feel like I've got the measure of the bowler. But you, you do see some guys come down and, and go too far leg side and lose all control. Uh, because they're trying to get it over cover, they try and use their body to, to get the elevation rather than, rather than still being in a good position. So they, they end up back here which that's generally going to go to backward point uh, if I try and do it that way. So for me, it's about nice and still. I, I know that that's what I'm going to try before he bowls it. So it's not, it's not a case of I've seen the ball, I'm going to give myself room and then go there. It's, it's totally premeditated, that shot. But you still have to have options if the ball's not there. So for me, it'll generally be he's about to bowl. I'll just shuffle that way. That way, it's, it's a quick movement. I haven't actually moved all that far, really. And, and my head's still when he's bowling it. So some guys, some guys then go try and go a fast wide Yorker, which then I can't reach. Uh, so that's a good ball. But I know that if they miss it, that, that I can still I can still get them. A lot of guys will come fast in it here. But every now and then you, you catch the bowler off guard and 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 you get it over there. But I mean it's just 
It's just about knowing what areas you need to hit the ball, knowing where the gaps are, and, and nine times out of ten, there's a deep point, long off, long on, deep mid wicket, deep backward square for a left arm spinner. Um, if you get a couple over cover, then they'll have three guys in the circle here and a deep extra cover. So then it's up to me to decide, am I backing myself to go over his head? Or I've got to change my game then, and, and then, it, then it becomes a case of me having to go a bit further and trying to hit it squarer, or doing them one in 10 shots that I was talking about before for me, which is slog sweep to a left arm spin, which I don't do. Um, so so it's, all, it's all about making, making a better change, I think. Making a bowler change as well. That's, trying to put pressure back on them as quick as we can. Oh, got him. Sorry. <laughs>